שלום, from Israel. This Shabbat we read portion Nesso. This is the second portion of the book of the desert. And it has another name, the book of the numbers. We count the camp of children of Israel time after time. But who is the one we count? It's amazing to see that those we count, it's only men after the age of 20. Why? Because in this age, this is the age where it's about time to be part of the army. You understand that? The Torah teaches us that the camp of Israel actually it's a camp of army. What does it mean? Why? Is it supposed to be like that? We are the one who's supposed to bring Torah to build the connection with God all over the world and we speak about army? What is this? So maybe we'll go to see a very interesting story between Abigail and King David before he became the king and to listen to her saying which teaches us what does it mean to be a Messiah, Mashiach. So he is taking his people very close to Susia in the desert of Yehuda and he, and he is on his way to kill her husband because he didn't fulfill his part of the partner they had. David and his men, they were all around keeping all the region. They had small army and he was the rich man, Naval, that was his name. And when it was about time to give his salary to the soldiers, he didn't give the salary. So David came and he wanted to kill him. Then his wife, Abigail, she came with a lot of gifts on the way and she met David the Melech on his way to kill her husband and she told him this. Listen, David, I know you are going to be the king. I know you are the Mashiach. Be careful. The war you are fighting is the war of Hashem. If you're going to kill him, it will be a very small war. you supposed to take care for the big wars as the king. The wars of Hashem. And he listened to her and, she sa- and he says, This is a smart woman. I will wait. Hashem will take care for this. And this is exactly what happened the night after that, he died by himself. And later on, when David the Melech became the king, he took Abigail to be his wife. And she teaches us what Moshe Rabbeinu teaches us, that we, the children of Israel, to teach the world Torah, we have to go through fighting for that. We understand that there is a lot of evil in the world. If you want to fight the evil, it's not enough to teach Torah. It's much more than that. You have to build a kingdom and to teach your soldiers that they are fighting the fight for the good. They are fighting for the name of Hashem. Therefore, this year, Baruch Hashem, I am blessed to teach young children they are 18, 19 years old, one, one and a half, some of them make even two years learning Torah before they enter to this special mission to be soldiers in the IDF. And we teach them again and again what I just teach you. Being a soldier, 
in the IDF means you are fighting for good, you are fighting for justice, and you are fighting for the name of Hashem. Therefore, Moshe Rabbeinu count the people, which they are 20 till 60, this is the age of being part of the Jewish army. And when we didn't have an army, we were outside our land, we couldn't defend ourselves, we know what happened. It's not only that Jews were killed all, all over the world, the justice was killed. The evil ruled the world. Now, Baruch Hashem, Israel is strong among a lot of enemies, among a lot of evil. And the whole world look and see, wow, Israel is strong means the justice is strong. And it means that Hashem is here with us. Shalom from Israel.